So in this video, we're going to be doing a simple tutorial. We're going to be using React Native ViewShot and React Native Share to create an app whereby you have the ability to share images and text on your app and you can share it to your friends, email, or do whatever you want with the image. So let me show you a demo of what we're going to be emailing. So this is an app here. You can see the two things. There's an image and then there's a share button. So once you press on the share button, it takes a view shot, a screenshot of the image, and then you can do whatever you want with that. You can send it to friends, manipulate it. Pretty much, it's unlimited what you can do with it. So some people might see this format of styling here to be familiar because I use the same styling for a React Native video or tutorial that I made, whereby we used Dali to generate images. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description, and you might see it popping up more here if you're looking forward to this video give it a like subscribe and let's go okay so we're gonna start off with a boilerplate app so this has been created using the default react native init command and then it just gives us this app so we're just gonna delete everything here until we have something which is empty so control a delete everything then i'll use react native uh, snippets which is rnfes Put that there, this will just give us the default app that we can set with. So from here, we're gonna need two libraries uh, in order to have that share functionality. The first one is React Native of uh, ViewShot, and then the second one is React Native Share. So both those libraries allow us to have that share functionality. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna install those two libraries. So we're just gonna open the terminal and then go yarn add react native native view shot okay and then we're also gonna add react native share just share and then we can let them do its thing okay now that it's done you have to go to your ios uh, folder and say pod install because you need to install the pods for the new installed libraries so cd ios or go to the ios folder and then pod install this will install all the pods and then we'll be ready to get started with the app okay now that's done so we can just go one folder back cd dot dot so in the root folder and we can even close out the terminal just zoom in okay nice so what I'm going to do now is that we're going to create the styling that we want. So I'm just going to replace all the views with the safe area view. Okay, cool. So now we see everything. Then what we're going to do now is just going to add an image. And then after that, we're going to add a, a button which is going to have the share functionality. So the image that we're going to use is this one. And then let's add a functionality to let's add the image below here so it will be image remember to import the image from react native okay what's we're gonna do next is we're gonna add a button which will allow us to to share so it will be attachable opacity. So we have to import attachable opacity here. There will be our share button. And then the last thing, let's just edit the, the title such that it shows that we are using React Native Share. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add all the styling together. So 
we have all our styling so let's just give okay so we have our image here and then we have the share button but it does nothing so it's time to add the functionality the share button is here so we're gonna add an on press This on press will share we we'll call it share image, so it will call the share image file. So we have to create a function which is called share image. So const share image. And then let's just talk about the share image function. So basically we're gonna be using a React Native view shot to get the function to get the ability to share the image to capture the image and then we're gonna use the React Native share to share like the image that we have just captured. So I'm just gonna import both of them. So React Native view shot has two APIs. First one is called ViewShot, the other one is called CaptureRef. One is an imperative API, so that means it does more, slower level, and then ViewShot is just a simple way to just take the, the screenshot. I'm gonna choose to use the CaptureRef because it works better on both platforms and you get additional features with it, even though some of them we're not gonna be using here. So. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna write that function to like, the ability to, to share the image using a React Native view shot. So it's an async. So we have to make our, fun our function an async. And then we have to try and then catch the errors. So what do we have here, we have like an async function whereby like we have to wait for the URI will be the link of the image and then CaptureRef is just gonna take a shot of that image. But then what will happen now, we need to have an ability to reference or to take a snapshot of whatever we wanna take a picture of. So that's why we have to use a use ref to just take a reference of the image that we gonna take an image of. Then we're gonna use that image so I'm just gonna go to the top and then import user ref from react the user ref basically it, like we we say we're taking a reference of the of the item or image that we're gonna take a photo of so I'm just gonna define it just next to the picture or below for the picture. Const ref is equal to user ref. So now we can use that ref wherever we wanna take a snapshot of something. What I'm gonna do now, we're gonna use. I'm gonna come here, and then we wanna take a picture, an image of the a snapshot of the picture. So I'm just gonna wrap it in, a, in the view shot that we imported above. So you'll see here, this, this is the ref. So we're saying that the capture ref should reference this ref reference here. And then that's, that's the way we're gonna be able to take the image. So after this, let's just have an ability to catch the error. So I'll just also log 
error. Okay. Yeah, now I'll just restart the app and then we're gonna see what we get. On the console, we're supposed to get like the URI when we press on the button. Let's let's just hook it up. Uh, let's see, share image. When you press on this share image, you're gonna have the ability to to share. Yeah, ability to caption. Okay, now the app has resetted. When I press on share, on my console log, I see that the image is being shown. So I show the console log here. So once I press on share, we get a console log. So we wanna share this URL, which is on the console log. Uh, so that's the part that we're gonna work on next. So going back to our function there, which is the share image function. So we first await the URI, and then when we have the URI, we want to share that URI. So that's what we're gonna do now. So remember we imported this share here, so we're just gonna use that. So it's also gonna be an async, so we're just gonna Await share dot open URL which is pointed to URI. So in this function, in this method here, you could have used the default react native method for sharing but the problem is that it works only on ios on react native android it doesn't allow you to share images only allows you to share pictures so that's why we went with the separate library for sharing so right now when i press on share we should see the share dialog come up and there we see so we have the ability to share and then you can share this image to your friends or you can even save it to to the files on iOS on Android you have to do it separately so that's it for this video if you liked it give it a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one